Life without Anthony Davis just got a lot harder for the Los Angeles Lakers. When any NBA team loses one of their best players, it's tough sledding. Many expected that would be the case for the Lakers without one of their superstars in Davis. However, entering Thursday, the Lakers were 5-1 in six games this season without Davis in the starting lineup. Comparatively, the team is 17-6 with Davis in the starting lineup this season. Even more surprising, that one loss without Davis came against the team with the NBA's worst record. On the second night of a back-to-back, -back, at the end of a long road trip, the Lakers showed some tired legs in a 92-107 loss to the Detroit Pistons back on January 28. Local local news from across Southern California if you're thinking that the Lakers' five wins without Davis this season are signs that the team will be just fine without him, think again. Those five victories all came against teams with some of the worst winning percentages in the league. Without Davis, the Lakers have defeated the Timberwolves and Thunder, in overtime, twice and the Bulls once. Including the Pistons, who they lost to, the combined record of the Lakers' opponents when they play without Davis is 38-74, win percentage. Therefore, Thursday's matchup with the Brooklyn Nets was considered to be a big test for the Lakers in how they play against the league's top teams without Davis. Needless to say, they flunked the test. The Nets entered the contest riding a four-game winning streak and the second-best record in the Eastern Conference. The oddsmakers expect the Nets and Lakers to meet in the 2021 NBA Finals later this summer. Kevin Durant missed his third consecutive game with a left hamstring strain, something that on its surface would seemingly level the playing field. However, just before tip-off, the Lakers announced that starting point guard Dennis Schroeder would also miss the game because of the league's COVID-19 health and safety protocols. Not that Schroeder is on the same level as Durant or Davis, but against a guard-heavy team like the Brooklyn Nets, his loss was nonetheless impactful. Not having Schroeder in the lineup hurt the Lakers on both ends of the floor, especially when it came to guarding the perimeter. It's just next man up, said LeBron James about having to play without Davis and Schroeder on Thursday. Whomever's number is called have to step up. It's a big blow for us. The game began the way most expected. The Lakers, one of the league's best teams at scoring points in the paint, dominated that category, outscoring the Nets 54-32. The Brooklyn Nets, are among the top-tier teams in the NBA at three-point shooting. Over their last three games, they've averaged over 63 points per game off of three-pointers. That trend continued on Thursday and the Lakers had no answers for it. Before the game against Brooklyn, Lakers head coach Frank Vogel admitted that the Lakers needed to attempt more three-pointers.